At 17 minutes past one this morning, Mr. Bobby Sands, the IRA MP for Manor South Tyrone, died. His mother and sister were at his bedside with a priest during the final hours. They, along with other members of the family, drove quickly and without comment away from the maze shortly afterwards. Minutes later, Northern Ireland Secretary Humphrey Atkins issued a brief statement saying Bobby Sands had taken his own life by refusing food and medical attention for 66 days. The response in Belfast was immediate and violent. The Falls Road was closed off by rioters and petrol bombs were hurled in large numbers at the security forces who moved in to try to contain the situation. This response to Bobby Sands' death was expected and plans had been made by both sides, but some rioters were obviously unskilled in petrol bombing. As the news of the death in the maze spread, more Catholics took to the streets and more petrol bombs and rocks flew at the army and police. Direct hits called for a tactical withdrawal. An armoured personnel carrier was brought in to move vehicles being used as barricades, only to be met by more petrol bombs. Another attempt was made to clear the road, this time at high speed. But still, the rioters wanted the Falls Road barricaded and another van was moved across it. Attempts were made to set it on fire before the youths decided to make it harder to move by turning it on its side. The army replied with plastic bullets fired down the falls from the Springfield Road junction. In the side streets too, smaller battles were taking place. Large grabbers were brought in to clear some of the wreckage while the rioters were kept at bay by the security forces. There was trouble in virtually every Catholic area of West Belfast with fires and barricades dotted everywhere. But by dawn the worst was over. Three civilians were injured during the night. One of them is seriously hurt. This morning, the city is relatively quiet as the clearing up starts and an assessment of the damage is made. And the demonstrations this morning have been peaceful ones. As Republicans remember, there are still three others on hunger strike.